Hey, what's going on my fellow collectors? Jim here with another figure review. And let's check out the Mezco 112 Batman Ascending Night Previews Exclusive. Now there is this is the fourth one, I believe, of the same exact figure, all in different color schemes, which is more or less Mezco's take on, you know, the uh, first appearance of Batman. But uh, very cool. This is the first time I've ever gotten a Mezco figure that came in this metal tin like this but it basically replicates the original cardboard boxes that we normally would get the much bigger version I will say so it's not like the exclusives that come in that nice small packaging this is pretty big um, but you do have Batman Ascending Night you do have the PX uh, sticker up there you got a cool Batman logo you got the Mezco Toys 112 post play display you got DC um, on the bottom you got Batman Ascending Night on the top you got the same thing, on the side you got the 112, and on the other side you got the MezcoToys.com, and then on the back you have you know all the promotional pictures that we would see on the actual cardboard box. So it's pretty cool, I mean you know, it's a little tin you could use to put some junk in, and this kind of just hinges up, of course you have all this plastic protective stuff, and then of course you do have the figure inside with all of the different layers of clams. But yeah, let's go ahead and um, get this figure out and take a closer look. Okay, and here he is out of the packaging along with all the accessories that he does come with. He does come with a decent amount of accessories. Some pretty cool ones and uh, some excessive ones as well. But uh, Batman, we're going to get into him in a second here, but let's go over all the accessories that he, that he does come with. He does come with two fists that come on him right out of packaging. This is initially what he looks like right out of packaging. I haven't interchanged anything as of yet. So he does have the two fists. He does have one single uh, right hand, and this is for his grapple gun. And the hands are made, you know, a little bit on the pliable side and on the soft side, so he has no problem holding on to his weapons. I did find that it's kind of hard to get his trigger finger in the actual trigger guard, but you know it does work. And the grapple gun itself looks very nice. We get a great sculpt on it. Nice dry brushing, nice grays and blacks and everything. That looks awesome. All the hands look really good. We get nice sculpt, sculpted wrinkles. We get like some kind of, you know, brass knuckles. A little bit sloppy on the top part of the hand, but you know, each individual knuckle kind of has a little brass uh, plate on it as well so that's pretty cool now the grapple gun itself comes with a bunch of different uh, hooks you have this one kind of splayed open hook and that fits in there nicely and then you get the same exact hook that has a rope that you could untangle and you know actually have extended so that's pretty cool and then you have this one that's kind of tricky to get on there but it will port in there and that one's like more of like a closed version of it before it opens up before he fires. So that's very cool. And he does come with this kind of um, crossbow, which is pretty cool looking. It's got again, it has nice sculpt on it, nice glossy black on the grip, and there's nice sculpt on the grip. You can see like some darts here on the side. There's no uh, removable darts and nothing to kind of put in there. And these are plastic pieces, so be, definitely be careful with these. They're a little bit delicate. But um, you, know, you could take a gripping hand and just kind of put one of the gripping hands in there. And I guess he kind of fires it like that, I would imagine. I would imagine he just kind of fires it from a, like holding it like this. But pretty cool accessory. Again, a little bit on the small side and on the delicate side. So of course you do get two other kind of gripping hands. And again, we get the nice sculpt on those. And then he does come with two kind of like, you know, style pose hands. And of course you do have the bat brick, as they call it. Which, which actually looks really nice. I like the different, you know, the very dark grays and then this really nice, you know, uh, chrome silver that kind of outlines it. It looks good from both angles and it does have a hinge so it can close. So that's pretty cool. And he comes with 10, yes, 10 batarangs. And they are all exactly the same. They're done in a very, very nice metallic silver. I do like the silver color and there, there is some sculpting details in there. But yeah, we get 10 of them. Just to show you, there's the other 9 right there. So 
a little bit excessive, but the, uh, the cool thing is with these style pose hands, with them being a little bit kind of on the soft side, you could technically kind of jam, you know, uh, at least three into each hand here. So at least you only have four to worry about if you wanted them to be holding, you know, all six batarangs. So that is pretty cool. And of course, we get this really, really nice Bruce Wayne head which is more or less just kind of like, uh, not supposed to resemble anybody, but it's just a very nice kind of Mezco's take on a Bruce Wayne head, and I think they did a really good job on it. I think it screams, you know, Bruce Wayne, comic book. Um, very, very cool, and it looks great on the figure as well. Let me get some nice sculpting on the hair, a little bit of brown highlights in there, blue eyes, very cool. But yeah, that is all the accessories that this Batman comes with. We're going to get him off the stand and uh, take a closer look at him and the articulation. Okay, and here he is out of the packaging. And just really quick, just to show you the Mezco. We do get the standard Mezco base, which looks great. It does have a cool little Bat logo in there. You have the peg. You can either peg the figure on. Then, you, of course, you do have your flight stand. You can pop that peg out, put the flight stand in there, and that does swivel. Hinges at the bottom, middle, and the top. And, of course, you know, it swivels up here. And then you have the uh, little grabber pieces. So that's very cool. And then, of course, because he does not come with the wired cape, you get this monstrosity of a mess that I think a lot of us collectors uh, don't like. But you can clip this piece onto the back of this, and then you have all of these different bendy wires that you can pop into each one of these little ports here. And that's how you get that, that flared cape look. And, of course, you get your Mezco 112 Collective accessory bag. That's always cool. But yeah, so there was four different versions of this figure. Um, I almost jumped on the original one because I thought that was the more kind of, you know, most accurate comic uh, first appearance Batman, which is this, which is Mezco's Ascending Knight. You know, that, that's kind of what they're capturing here is his, his first appearance. Um, but uh, I believe it didn't come with purple gloves. So you just had the black cow, and then he had the black gloves, black boots. I imagine it was the same, uh, same uh, exact, you know, body suit, same belt, and then of course we had the all black version that came with the gold, the gold belt, and then of course we had that exclusive Comic Conic version that was all black and with the black belt. So I mean, a bunch of different versions out there, you know, kind of whichever one you like the most is, you know, the one that you're going to pick up. Um, I really like the kind of a sucker for the blue and gray version that's why when I saw this one I went ahead and just pre-ordered this one I think the blues on it look really really nice I love the vibrant blue that we get here in his cow um, I like the rest of the suit I mean for the most part I mean we do kind of have like this like faux leather pieces all around which are which do kind of bug me a little bit because I feel like it'd be very easy to tather up you know these portions of it and then we have the spandexy version of it that kind of has this weird kind of pattern in it I don't know how I feel about that but you know it doesn't take away too much from the figure um, I guess it's better than having it all this kind of faux material because then you'd be much more prone to having stuff crack but um, the head sculpt I, I think looks really really good I love the head sculpt on that guy I like the long ears on them. I do wish we could have gotten a, an alternate cowed head that had short ears. That would have been awesome. But uh, even like the bottom of the cow has these nice little accents on it that are kind of silver. Uh, of course, we do have all these parts are like kind of like that spandexy stretchy material. We do have his kind of classic first appearance kind of two bands and two fins for his. Um, uh, gauntlets and then we have its gloves the belt looks really good it's done in like a kind of more gold color than yellow but um, really nice sculpt to it we got a couple of cylinders and then we got some cool little pouches you know all sculpted in there and even on the back very cool and there is a place that you can um, you know store his grapple gun on there so that's pretty cool if you want to do that and you know it looks good even on the back the stitching is not too bad or too sloppy couple areas I'm having some issues. I'm having some tethering um, going on on the front of my cape already, which is uh, a little bit annoying, but you know, what are you going to do? Um, the boots look good. 
they have a nice sculpt to them. Again, I love the blue color. I love, how, I love how we have a little bit of black down here, and then we have some like silver accents going around the top, almost like steel toes. And then we have the sculpted in shoelaces that go all the way down the boots. My boots seem to be off, like off placement. Like, I don't know. So that kind of bugs me a little bit that they're not kind of, you know, straight, kind of pointing right up at his knee. This one seems to be off to the right a little bit. And this one seems to be pretty close, but like it just needs to be bent a little bit. And these, you know, you can't, there is no boot swivel or anything on it. Uh, you do have the bottom, which is a really nice glossy black. And then we have some tread on it. So that looks very cool. I mean, yeah, overall, really nice. The uh, bat logo is raised. And we get a nice glossy black on that. And the cape itself is done nice. I mean, you know, I like this kind of like faux -y leather, leather that we get. Again, love the blue color. Can't can't say enough about that. Um, the the underside uh, it's kind of like a darkish gray, so I'm not really fond of that. But um, I just really wish they would have added a wire to the cape. Now I think like like how he looks right now is great. And of course, that's just because that's how he's been in the box. So the cape is very much kind of stuck in this position. But I mean, you can bring it over in front of him. And I think that does look good. And I think it does give him more of a, you know, first appearance look like that. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. It looks good. It does hang on him pretty well. And I think over time as, you know, stuff kind of falls and settles. Um, but it does get a little bit poofy right here, which I don't care for but I mean it does have a very nice span on it so I mean it's got a really nice wide span on the front Let's show you the back so yeah very very cool so I mean they did kind of like have these creases in here so you can do it different ways you can you know tuck it back that way if you wish which I think looks great or you could you know bring it a little bit over a little bit and kind of have it hang over I mean you kind of have to mess with it. You could even flip it back like that if you wanted to have the gray showing. So, I mean, there's there's different options, different creases in there that help. But, um, yeah, I just wish they would have added the wire at the end of the day. Now, uh, as far as this figure, let me put the, the Bruce Wayne head on to show you what that looks like. Because that looks really good. Proportionally fits him very well. I think it looks really nice on the figure. Looks great. Very cool. So I'm really digging this Bruce Wayne head sculpt. It looks really nice on the figure. It looks really like, you know, a comic book look to it. Proportionally fits them well. Very easy to pop on and off. Same thing with the hands. No issues popping the uh, hands on and off. Let me find a right hand here. All the hands are kind of made with that kind of softer plastic. So that does help kind of pop them on and off. Very easy. Put the fist back on there. Now going over his articulation, uh, as you saw, it was a, you do get this kind of you know double ball peg right here. So there's no movement at the neck, but you do get a decent movement with the head. So I mean, of course, you get full swivel. Uh, you get down about that much. You can get him looking up a decent amount. So that's not bad at all. Of course, you get really nice side-to-side -side pivot. So, I mean, you get a really nice kind of all-around motion with that. Just for it being that, you know, that single ball, you know, movement and, and not having any movement at the neck. Now, um, as far as the rest of them, his arms, they will go out really nice. You know, I'm assuming that's why they went with the spandex on certain areas, just so you wouldn't have any cracking going on here on this like faux leather part. But the arms will go out a very nice amount. Uh, you can, as you kind of got to finagle with the suit a little bit and be very careful, but you can get, get his arms straight up. So that's cool. Uh, it doesn't feel like there's any kind of, you know, butterfly in there. So I'm assuming there's not, unless mine's just really stuck. Yeah, I don't think there. I mean, I feel a little tiny bit of movement forward and back, but I think it's more or less just probably just the ball joint. Uh, there is a bicep swivel in there. You do have double jointed elbows that give you about that much range. Of course, you do have the swivel and hinge at the hands. And I do like the, uh, you know, kind of classic first appearance uh, gauntlets that have the two little fins coming out of it. So that's pretty cool. It looks good. 
Now, as far as the torso, we have like that torso cut, and then I believe we just have like a little ab crunch in here. But you know, it's pretty decent movement. I mean, you can get nice, you know, uh, rotation with that, nice side to side. And but the thing is, with both joints, you get a really nice crunch forward. So I like that. I mean, that's better than Wolverine had. Uh, going back, not so much, but you know, so I mean. Decent kind of all-around movement with that. You can get some really nice movement, and it does, you know, no restrictions within the cloth. But you might want to be careful with that. The belt is a uh, floating piece, so you can, you know, float that up and down out of the way as you as you need to. The legs will come out about that much. I mean, there is stitching all throughout there, so I would be careful with that. Kicking forward about that much. Kicking back not so much. You do have your thigh swivel in there. You do have double jointed knees. Bring them about that much, and then for the foot, uh, I like it because the ball joint is actually in the in the shoe, but um, you do get rotation. You don't get very much back. I mean, you get about that much back. The more you force it, you'll just pop it off. You get a decent amount forward, but what I really like is you get a really nice rocker with this guy. So that's really good that you get a cool rocker with that back, you know, forward and back with him. So yeah. You know, overall decent movement with them. You're going to be able to get him in some cool poses. But let's go ahead and get him standing straight back up again so I can give you guys some size comparisons. Now, measuring this Batman out, looks like to the top of his ears, he is um, almost seven inches to the top of his ears. To the top of his head, He's almost like, what, six and three quarter inches. And if you were to put the Bruce Wayne head sculpt on him, he would be almost at that six and a half inch mark. So he will look good. He's probably going to look good up against your other Mezco 112 figures. Now, as far as a few comparisons, uh, with some other Mezco figures. Here he is next to the Deadpool. And here he is next to Space Ghost. Here he is next to the SH Figure Arts Dark Knight Batman. Here he is next to a Mafex Joker figure. So I think this guy even, you know, even, even though Mezco kind of has that more kind of bulkier, you know, girth to their bodies, I think these two still look good. You know, you could put them within your Mafex, you know, line and SH figure arts if you so desire. And here he is compared to a NECA um, Batman Begins. So as you can see, NECA is definitely always going to tower over the Mezco. And then here is a, um, what is this, DC Collectibles? one of the Arkham video game Batmans. This is a little size comparison. But yeah, guys, that was a look at the Mezco 112 Ascending Knight PX Previews exclusive Batman. Again, like I said, very cool figure. I like it. I'm digging it. I love the color scheme. There's plenty of different um, color schemes out there for you know whichever one you want to go with. I think it's got a great look to it. Like I said, I, I am bummed out about the cape. I do, I do wish that they would just, you know, kind of be done with the kind of headache of those wire bendy wires and having to clip it onto the cape and just give us, give us a nice wire in the in all all of the capes. You know, I feel like if you're gonna make a cloth cape, give us a wire because it just adds so much more posability to it even though I mean he looks great just like this this is probably how he is going to you know stand on my shelf or I might try to let this settle some more because I will say that does look great I mean that that is very cool and that does have a very nice first appearance look to it you know still very cool ha having him be able to bring his cape around him like that yeah, guys, that was a look at the figure. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the figure in the comments below. Did you pick any versions of this guy up? Which ones did you pick up? 
But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next figure review.